Okay, hello everyone. Hi. We're live, we're late. It's Sam's fault. It's always Sam's fault. Hello everyone. Sam's nice fault. to see everyone. <laughs> of Actually, I think it was Jamie. Jamie was late getting back tonight. Mm. I, I wasn't even that far away. Mm. Um, and there's Eddie's in my way. Just like last night, Ellie's everywhere. Let's try to readjust before we get too many people. I really... We need to find a better system for this. We really do. Because this is not an ideal system. Okay. Sam, so, sneak in. Jamie, sit forward. Okay, sneaking in. There we go. We actually get all three of us in for once. Not bad. Ten viewers. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hi. Here come the likes. All How's the everyone likes doing? All the Hello, time. Hello. Hello. Hi, Lisa. Lisa. Hi, Angie. Angie. Hello, Angie and Lisa. Angie, you're also a beautiful person. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, let's actually right. talk about the game drive. Okay. Uh, apparently, Sam had all the sightings. Yes, yeah, so it was a very, very exciting and lucky afternoon that we had. Me and Chandra went off and we saw loads of elephants. <laughs> oh, Ooh. hang on. Yeah. We not only saw loads, we actually started off with two lions that are, were, were by Sydney's dam and then we left the lions, went off to the dam and we watched so many, it started with one little elephant that just came down to the watering hole and was just drinking on the water. I was like, could this just, this is strange, it's just one little small elephant and we waited there for about 15 minutes before next thing you just saw a whole bunch yeah, of elephants. Arjun says Sam is running. a lucky camper. <laughs> yes, I am a bit of a lucky camper, but mm -hmm. it's nice to camp and wait and find all these elephants coming <laughs> to one place. Then fighting elephants and then um, all space. sorts of things there like with, the, with those hippo yawning. Anyway, I was very grateful for all of that. And then we had to bump, we were bumped into two beautiful looking, beautiful looking honey badgers. So it's oh, only second know, time. I've, I've, never, I've never heard someone describe a honey badger as beautiful before. No. Uh, tenacious, mm. obstinate, mm. Uh, lots of different words, but never beautiful. <laughs> okay, obstinate, and, but mostly it's, it's beautiful looking. That white stripe <laughs> on the back over the top with the black sides, Millivoric pences, is that right? Oh, well done. Yes, well, very nice. Well. Yeah, so yes. I was very, very excited. I'm so glad, of course, all of you guys were there with me during that experience. Jean Ray spotted them first. So, well done, Jean Ray. Hello, John. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Carol's in Illinois. Hello, Carol. Hi, Hi Carol. Rosie. Hello, Hi, Rosie. Hi, Laura. Laura just says, honey badgers, exclamation mark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. It's, it's Today is Sam's lucky day. Yes. From it was Jake. a very good day. Yeah, yeah. Two, two days after my birthday, it was my late birthday present came across. It's only the second time I've seen a honey badger. And two That's of them at once. It was... I mean, what, what do you guys I've think? Seen, so? I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen that pair at Buffles with Dan before. They're quite oh, relaxed. Really? It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm quite sure it's, it's a female and a sub-adult. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's not going to be an adult pair. They generally uh, move around solitary. Yeah. Uh, but I, I will tell you, one of the weirdest sounds I've ever heard in all my years in the African bush is honey badgers mating. Really? I've really? never, I've never heard honey badgers mating. It's incredibly strange. Jeez, I and I've only, I've only ever seen and heard it once, but my goodness. I, I, it's it's almost indescribable. Cheap as it does sound. Quite aggressive as well. Really, very very yeah. rough. Yeah, because they're super aggressive. Eh? Mm, they, they can uh, be. Yeah. Um, Ginger Smith would like to know why your Ellie's speaking of aggression. Why your Ellie's were fighting mm. this afternoon? Do you know, it looked it looked like it looked to me because they started early. They started really early. Like all the elephants came down, and then all of a sudden we just noticed these two elephants that were starting to bang heads. And it looked like they were just having some fun with each other. But it looked like two young males. And next thing, these two young males were just, they started playing and then all of a sudden it became almost like a display of dom dominance between the two, the two males from what I picked up. And they didn't stop. They were bashing down trees. They were running into the water. <laughs> they were smacking Amazing. tusks. Uh, how old were they? Sorry, I, I missed. Obviously, I, I would was have, not on drive. I would have said they were probably between three to five years old. Oh, so little ones. Little so, ones. So play fighting. Yeah, play fighting. Anyway, and they, Steph did promise he was going to make an appearance this evening. There he yes, is. There is your cameo appearance. There you go. There's, there's, there's Uncle Stefan. Now, do you want to be too with the torch as bright as that on my forehead? It's shiny. Well, I mean, we, we really polish? do have scary, scary lighting. <laughs> yeah. Like kids. Well done on your safaris. It looked good. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. It was a fantastic day, I must say. Um, yeah. What else? What so, else was Laura, you? Laura, we're going to get Laura and Bev. We've got seven. So, Laura wanted to know, does anyone know who those two male, young male lions that were seen on the, or both safaris today, sunset and sunrise, um, as far as I can work out, they are breakaway. Breakaway. So oh, it's uh, okay. sometimes called Salala Breakaway Pride, otherwise called the Mungen Pride. Okay. So they were up here, and then uh, they got separated. 
whether it be from fighting with other males or uh, the line dynamics are obviously in, in a bit of flux at the moment. Mm. But so, yeah, mm. no, it's been really interesting the fact that they've come all the way with the Talala Pride as well. Mm. Both been in the same area over the last. Well, I missed weeks. that, but someone said, "Hello, Steph the Stud." Steph. Hey, Steph. Steph so many people saying hello to Steph, and he yeah, disappeared. Steph, very Steph is doing a cameo. We can, if, if if you send us enough messages, we'll make him come back. And Jake has said that we should see your your drawing of the honey badger sound. Yes, did you draw a honey badger? It. Yeah, but I did, but it's it. in the vehicle. Ah, oh, it's oh. a bit far away. Yeah. Spice is off, please. Wi-Fi off. Oh, we're back. Here oh, we, we go. go. Oh, hello. We've hello, been everyone. we've been we've been making everyone turn off their devices mm. so we can speak to you. Mm. Um, can Jamie or Steph make a lion impression from Valerie? Ah, well, Steph's gone now. No, I I'll can get Steph back. Steph's gone. So, Jamie? Um, so, I'm going to do a contact call between a mother no, and a no, cat no, because no, you didn't specify. No, 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 there was no specification there. Okay. Meow. Meow. That sounds like a crocodile. Shut up. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you do your best contact cub. Okay, that was better. Ow. Fine. <laughs> so, I think, Sam, it's come time. You are you've had you've had some time, Sam. Do your can't. best line I just, impression. I just can't, please. I like. I just can't. I really. So yeah, Lucy I says cannot, no excuses, please, Sam. You we want to see it. You can't do this to me. Like I'm, I'm I can try, but I just can't do it. I be. I will. I just can't do it. Okay. <laughs> and please. Ellen, Ellen says Ellie's making noise at the Juma cam. I know we can even hear them from here. Yeah, yeah we just can't over see our make a lot of noise. Yeah, thank, thank you, Ellie, for changing the subject, Ellie. No, no, we're not going to let Sam get away that that, that easily. Yeah. Come on, Sam, just 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 one male Ryan. You've got the hair, you've got the beard. Now you have to have the behavior. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> I can't, I'm flushed, I'm so flushed, I can't. <laughs> Man, this is just so. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do it with you, how's that? Okay, yeah. Do cool. Okay, on three. We'll all go together. Shot. Okay, everyone, nice, nice, right, nice. let's try everyone together. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> and Sam didn't die! Yes! You managed to do it for once! Well done, Sam. Well done, well done Jamie. Yeah. Jamie Jack did die. I'm so <laughs> well, hot my throat. Brian go. says, focus, Sam Wise. No, focus. Hey, Brian, thanks so much. Ellen yeah, says, well done. Here we go. Right. And Di says, Sam, you did such a better job this time. Oh, thank you very much, Di. It, was, it wasn't amazing, but it was definitely better than last time, I must say. The iron raw, shave your head. Okay, and then so I know I, you from and Unfortunately, we, we, got, we got sidetracked by the lion roars, but there were some questions about Inkanyin yes. and the cubs this morning. So, as far as I'm aware, Sam, you saw Inkanyin on drive? Yes, I but saw. But without the cubs? Without the cubs, yeah, I just saw. Inkanyin. So, very, very exciting. We got to see two new leopards for the yeah. Safari Live. Uh, shows today. I've been looking for those cubs and Inkanyin. I often go to, to Cheetah Plains and I'm just like, please, can I see those cubs? <laughs> I <laughs> tracked her yesterday for yeah. hours. Yeah. You need to get into the short well, it's, it's okay. and, I'm, and I'm sort of lit like a horror movie. Mm. Um, <laughs> so guys, if, if, you, if, you, if you want to see, well, see okay. leopard cubs, you know, I can give you some pointers. <laughs> That's okay, I'm doing fine, thanks. Okay, good. just checking. <laughs> just checking. Um, some very confused Sharon, Sharon Bishop thinks our lion roars sound like a cow with a sore throat. I now but have a sore throat. Sharon, we disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> we thought our lion roars were amazing. <laughs> Guys, thank you to everyone who is saying good lion roar. I really yeah, appreciate right. it. Ellen, Ellen <laughs> Fowler. <laughs> okay, this is now a bit of a bone of contention, and we did have a bit of a discussion about this on the Sunrise Safari. So I'm, I'm, I, before I weigh in, I'm going to let um, Jamie and Sam also talk about this. So uh, initially, we we thought, anyway, uh, we thought that the leopard that was chasing in Kanyen. Uh, was Shivambalan. That was the information we got. But it turns out it was Quarantine who stole her kill. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't know that. So, uh, now Shivambalan has been seen mating with uh, Inkanyin and is thought to be the father. Now, I'm going to let Jamie take this before I go on my father cub rant which i have done a few times so jamie well, i've already done this this afternoon oh, well there we go um, we can do it again you know, we've already discussed the fact that we don't obviously know exactly who the father of each leopard cub is 
given the the nature of a, a female leopard, very cleverly to mate with as many males as possible. Um, could Siobhan Milana be the father? Yes. Does that mean that he wouldn't chase her? Or eat no. Um, with Tingana, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's so difficult because their lives are so complex and they're governed by codes that are not our own. And sometimes accidents happen. Tingana has been rumored to be a killer of his own cubs, in inverted commas, cubs that might, may or may not, or are most likely his. And I've, I've definitely seen males chase females and their cubs off kills, even when they have been seen mating with that female. So it does happen. It's one of those little curiosities of nature that it does occasionally occur. And I think if you're a female leopard, unless you know, because Shumamalan has not been established for that long in that territory. He's not a mature, mature male. He's, he's five, six. He's, he's six still a baby, yeah. So, I mean, there's a chance that she didn't, she didn't want to take the chance that he might kill her cubs and that she'd rather play it better safe than sorry, particularly with a young male. We saw it with the Birmingham boys where they're... they're Takeover, I know it's a line, but their takeovers were more aggressive because they were young and they didn't know how to handle themselves, if that makes any sense. And that's that's one of the reasons why we suspected that the Nguma lionesses were killed in that whole deal. So maybe it's just better safe than sorry. I still need to see the, these males. I haven't seen Shibambalan. So oh, I didn't even realize. He's only four and a yeah. half years old. I'd love to see I these males. I have no idea. See, I've only seen Tungana. I was looking for the Anderson male for quite some time. <laughs> I tracked him the other day. Wow. So terrible, he, he left. But now, going back to this. So, the fact that we, uh, or the lodges in the Sabi Sands, only saw uh, Nkanyin mate with Shivamba line means absolutely nothing. So, the majority of Nkanyin's territory falls outside of the Sabi Sands in the Kruger National Park. And there are many leopards. And being a female leopard is incredibly unlikely she only mated with one male. She possibly would have mated with three or four. So to, to say Shivamba Lion is the father, uh, without genetic testing, and I, I will happily say with genetic testing that, that it's the father, but being a young male and holding a relatively small territory at the moment, I, I, I'm going to say it's probably a Kruger male that is the father of those cubs, and I don't think she wants to take any chances. And she has been a particularly good mother for a young leopard. So uh, I think let's let's leave in Kenyan to make the judge call, judgment call, which males to hang around with and which not to. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, uh, the end of a really lovely afternoon. Well done, Sam. I'm really glad that you had such a special afternoon. Yeah, I know. It really yeah. did sound incredible. Yeah, you know, it's just incredible when things go in a way in which you cannot expect and you can only run. You know, like you can only just experience it as it happens, and it's just so incredible when that canvas just gets painted in that way. So I was just really, really, <laughs> really, really, really grateful for all of that. And to be able to experience it with so many people, I don't even know how many people were there. It could have been over 2,000 people that experienced that with me. And it's just, it's just such a fantastic concept. So with that, I think uh, we're getting yeah. quite right to the end. But I think Jamie definitely wants to answer one last question. Uh, James, so I'm going to give it to her. James Richard says that we need to measure Anderson's tracks with VM's calipers, which is, of course, what we've been playing about doing over the last few weeks. And I've really enjoyed and I haven't actually seen Anderson, nor indeed his tracks. So we measured who was, I, who was that with? Uh, Vim. I think it was with Vim when we tracked Anderson the other morning. And they're literally, for a, a male leopard, they're almost the size of my palm. Oh, that's huge. And that's really big. I mean, that's a lioness really size track. really big. But guys, it's been great. And let's get everyone in close. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we will see you in a few short hours Bye -bye. for the Sunrise Safari. Have a good evening. And uh, me and Jamie. Like, yeah, you and Jamie. Yes. Uh, I'm, yes. I'm doing paperwork. <laughs> so okay. we'll see you in the morning. Otherwise, keep well and enjoy the rest right. of your day, evening, whatever you're doing. Thanks for all those great comments, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Yeah.